always a satisfying moment to return. How can I be of service, Captain?
Landing initiated. Watch your flaring. I'm all ears. Am I ready to hop into a ship and explore the galaxy with you? More like, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. If you get into trouble, Barrett, you know where to find me. You got it.
Calculating.
orbit stabilizing. Perfect. Imagine it would smell like any other city, but it smells tranquil. <laughs> that makes sense. Like the air carries a dash of herbal tea with it. Expect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left. Okay, no problem. I'm sure you can find. Okay. I'm sure you can find... time I see that statue, I feel a little bit more. Can't really explain why, but I do. Find out why this was locked.
guy here, clearing out bad guys. Here. You deserve this. Place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. Craig's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. Some kind of test? Were the artifacts meant to lead us there? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power, all connected. Intriguing. I need to think about my own artifact sometime. But I'm not sure I want to use it until I know more. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data from the eye to pinpoint the source. Not all at once. You'll need to take the home voyage after you found each one. Should hopefully have more potentials for you then. It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten. All seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. Lay it on me. Uh huh. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. Take care of yourself. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. It's exciting to see this little venture paying off, but we really do need to be careful. The artifacts were one thing, but this... We well, were talking that we really one need time to keep this to ourselves. Can you imagine if word of this got out? I, I can't remember. Where I grew up has never been a subject of discussion. Ah, my fault. If you thought it was a challenge to find artifacts, well, imagine doing it with everyone else in the Settle Systems vying for them as well. We need to figure out what this all means before someone else does. I guess we should be grateful we seem to be ahead of the pack, as it were. So far, no indications that anyone else has noticed what we're up to. Let's just hope that doesn't change with this newfound ability of yours. 
Bye. Oh, your father visited. He seemed desperate or excited to find you. He left this note. I feel like as I'm much as I love uncovering your questions, I wouldn't mind the answers. The artifacts. That Before I say crazy, anything, I need to clarify that I have no formal medical training. So with that in mind, I think so. I know I said the scans weren't normal, but I would differentiate that from dangerous or concerning. I plan on keeping an eye on you, but you seem to have adapted to the changes. You're feeling okay, right? I'm not a doctor, but I do have eyes. I think I'd notice. I have no reason to expect anything that drastic will happen, but we are in uncharted waters here, so I guess you'd just be extra handy to have around. Then, depending on what different means, we do some more scans, talk it over with the group, and make a decision. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, not really. Based on my initial scans, but more on what I watched you do. But we'll run with it for now. For now, just relax. We're all behind you, and we'll take care of you if we need to. And if you wake up in the middle of the night to find me standing over you, taking scans or drawing blood, just take it in stride. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. Probably. Stay safe, okay? We've always considered ourselves... Great, let's see what you have. See you later. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Was doing the tally's work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. Stretches the mind to the far ends. Not sure neat is the word. Hard stopping might be closer to the mark. More saying we don't know. And, uh... That you'll be the first to lose ignorance's blessing if it's bad. Anyway, we'll be with you as we all figure what this means. Artifacts sure keep being a showboat of surprises. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Let's deal.
Show the words another time, then. What is it? Yes? Did you need something? Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Captain Romanov, I have been idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently. If you bring me, I will go where... So much to do, to see. Got a moment? Let's catch up. So, you gotta fill me in on what happened at the temple. What happened? What did you see? Well, uh, sounds like we need more data to me. Then what happened? I heard you did some stuff, and then you... changed. Uh-huh. 
Hold up a second. You encountered advanced technology that altered your biology in a way that results in... In what? Superpowers? Interesting. Maybe we should get someone to check you out, just in case. Anyway, thanks for filling me in on the temple and your power. I wonder if we can find any more traces of whoever built them. It just opens up a world of questions. It's so exciting. was a value meal option. There are other customers waiting, sir. Just order. Order anything. <sighs> hmm. How many calories is that? The nutritional information is the same for all chunks, sir. This is a private meeting. Nothing's going on here. What are you looking at? Oh. Hi. money you sent home, well, it means a lot to both of us. Do I have news? <laughs> oh, your father has been as anxious as a kid on Christmas. Anyway, so you know about my card game, right? Been playing for years. Usually, we're just playing with credit, Auntie, so it's just for fun, mostly. Well, I was in the game of my life. Me and another lady, we went all in and then some. After I called, she had four of a kind, queens. But I had an honest-to-God straight flush. Honey, he doesn't need to hear the play-by-play. 
this is my moment. So finally, I won. I won big, the biggest part of my life. <laughs> I kept my poker face, even if I felt like letting my insides out. But the big kicker is, I won myself a ship, a real starship. It's real, sweetie. We, we went to the docks and looked at it and everything. Well, there's no way I'll ever fly it. So we had no idea what to do with the damn thing. And then it came to me. You. Your expression makes it totally worth it. All the paperwork's already been taken care of. Keep it, sell it, I don't care what you do with it. I just hope it makes up for all the money you keep sending home. You came. How are you eating well out there? It's easy just to survive off, well, garbage when you're shipbound all the time. Not a lot of options out there. I get it. You remember Grandpa's restaurant? Last time you were there, you must have been five, eight. Some of the best food in the galaxy. Service with a grunt and a glare, I always said. But Dad's food kept them coming back. <laughs> he always said, smiling wastes energy. Your grandfather taught me what I know of cooking. He didn't want me to go to uni. I was the only one interested in the restaurant. But when he got on in the years, he trusted me with something sacred. His meatloaf recipe. That meatloaf recipe funded two houses, my college tuition, and a heap of weddings. He won the all-colony cook-off three years in a row. Never been done then or since. He guarded that recipe like his life depended on it. The security system in his office was worth more than the whole apartment combined. <laughs> no, I'm not. Something better. I don't know if anything I taught you about cooking stuck, but I figure it's time to pass the torch. But you got to promise not to share Grandpa's meatloaf recipe with anyone. It stays in the family. I swear Dad's ghost would come back and strike me dead if you did that. See that you do. Any meat will do. If it's dry, extra tomatoes. They'll moisten it up if you do it right. Sorry, a bit of a moment here. So, uh, you want to talk about anything? Stay as long as you like. Sweetie, I, I was just thinking of you. You never knew your grand-grand, but she's about the only one like you in my whole family tree. Left home at an early age, well, ran away, really, Became a UC Marine, if you can believe it. Really? Well, I, I suppose it's ancient history. I only met Grandma a few times. Oh, she was fierce. I swear. Her eyes almost glowed. Every time I saw her, she'd drill me on math. If I got her questions correct, she'd give me a treat. Once, I got them all right and answered her bonus question, and she smiled. The only time I ever saw her do that. Most formidable woman I have ever met. She firmly believed in a solid education. Well, I was going through storage, and I found her old armor. I... I think she'd like you to have it. You have that... 
same thing. You're forging your own path, not just letting life toss you this way and that. See that you do. Oh, enough of this. I don't want to make a scene. You need anything, sweetie? You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Something to be said for brand loyalty. I'd much rather have someone comfortable with their purchase than some mythical best possible buy. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Well, that's not a simple question, is it? It all depends on who's asking. Hmm, I have my own personal favorites, but I wouldn't presume to know yours. Tell me, were you to find yourself in the unfortunate position of needing to use a weapon, what suits you best? Something up close and personal? Rapid fire? Is precision a consideration? Then might I suggest taking a closer look at some of our bladed options. Quiet, discreet, and very effective. Only the finest collection of armaments in the settled systems.
please let me know if I may assist you. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. I will tell you a secret. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone really does. Some act like they have it all figured out. And I admit I am guilty of that myself from time to time. There are, I suppose, a few actively trying to steer the herd, but most are just content to run at the front of the pack and act like they know where it's going. At the end of the day, you must feel comfortable in what you wear. If it speaks to you, what anyone else thinks doesn't matter. Would you buy from someone who is not? I know what I like. I have a good sense of what most other people like, and the rest is just making sure they're pleased with their purchase. It's clothing, not grab drive tech. Be my guest. I'll see you again, I'm sure.
One day House Varun just up and abandoned their embassy. No idea why. That your ship that landed not too long ago? Sure is something. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. Mother wanted me to be a doctor. What's the word for that again? War memorial. You can stop to pay respects if you'd like. There, huh? Space? Must be cool. I'm going to submit those reports to management next week. I don't really go for all this religion stuff, but I like talking to Aquilus. Even just the sound of his voice is...
Are you a member? Keeper Aqua seems to know what he's talking about. Okay. Hello. We've come a long way since the war. It's astonishing. Can you believe this tree was here before the city? I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Nope, not a bit. But I'm very good at listening to someone explain why some plant is unique. What's so special about it? Why, everything. Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time.
Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. SSN Ken is doing what it can. It's just that people are hard to reach these days. It makes it harder to relay drama. Is this shift of an engine, my man? chat? Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours, though. But no guarantees. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, if you have time, I've back been to it, thinking then. about some things. Wanted to talk to you about it. this. Enjoy. I know, but nevertheless, enjoy. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. You're quite welcome. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. 
It was a difficult time. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. No, he was frustrated and angry. He said they were going to destroy his name. He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. Said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. His former employers had some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. Oh, he knows how to navigate archived and redacted legal documents, so he'll look for anything to do with Irvin on Gagarin. If those documents are protected, he might have to pay to access them. He might need to grease some palms, too. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Huh. Can't say I've had that effect on anyone before. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything.
I need all of the biosensors if the data is to be of any use. If it isn't my favorite, almost a lab assistant. What can I do for you? Recent scans of the tree have suggested that a significant portion of the interior is liquefied. Obviously, some small percentage of its internal workings is always liquid to allow for the transfer of nutrients and so forth, but this? Well, I've never seen anything like it. If it continues to increase, I'm concerned the entire tree may collapse. And I'm also worried about other secondary effects. It's too soon to speculate. I'd very much like to see the additional data before I say more. I appreciate your confidence. The sooner I have all the available data, the sooner I can make an assessment. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. Oh, it is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in Mast at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Sweet home. Or bittersweet home, I suppose.
I don't believe in luck per se. But I do realize how fortunate I am to be a part of all of this.
Quite something, our Bobby, isn't he? Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Happy to make a deal. You need stuff, I need credits. It all works out. Look around, you tell me. You see is a big organization. Lot of planets, lot of people, 
whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks, winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst. One step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside have it so much better. Me? I like it. It's more real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Take your time. I got all day.
You need something else, I'll be here. behind on those reports. I'm gonna drink nothing but terror brew and pull all-nighters for a week to finish them. Good for you. to keep in touch these days. I haven't talked to my own man forever. Keep it moving. Don't say. 